Okay, so what's different about this bed operation is that unlike the slide out where the vehicle has to be on, to get this to come down, the vehicle has to be off. So go ahead and turn it off, pull the keys. That's a safety feature because you're not supposed to be using it while you're driving. And now um, make sure it is unclipped, good to go. There's uh, nothing blocking these rails. Make sure your kids didn't stick like a crayon in there somehow. Just always double check every little thing. You come back here, move it to on, and then push the button. You'll see the bed goes down pretty quick. There you go, it stops on its own. Okay, so for no reason at all, should your kids or adult friends be climbing onto the dinette to jump up to the top or climbing on the back of the seats onto the bed, my 10 year old loves to do it as well. Um, we always have to get onto him though to use the ladder. Um, reason being, when you start climbing on this furniture, it does break super easy. So always just use the ladder, it's located in the back bedroom, super easy to find. So just attach the ladder, let your kids climb right up. Um, no jumping up and down on the bed, that will break it pretty quickly. Okay, um, so while I'm looking at it, I'm gonna go over this roof AC unit real quick. You can open up these vents here to allow more airflow, which is pretty sweet. There's no reason at all, should your vents throughout the cabin, they should never all be closed. You can have like maybe three closed, but no more than three. Um, that will freeze the coils in the AC. So we'll go over AC some more. I just kind of saw that and went over it. Okay, to get the bed to go back up, you push and hold it. it. Takes a little bit longer to get up than down, so there you go. And then go back to it and just lock it. Remember, safety is number one priority. Lock it into place, and that is it. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to this outlet, uh, this wall outlet here. This here, so this is your water heater, 110 volt. Campsite ability to heat up your fresh water, your, your hot water tank, which is a six gallon tank. Unlike your home, this RV only has, when you're dry camping and boondocking, or camping in a Walmart parking lot, you have 64 gallons of fresh water tank on board the RV. Now that's where the water pump comes into play. The water pump, which you'll see right here, water pump, that is what you flip on to pump water and you notice it turns green. You use the water pump when you're sleeping in a Walmart parking lot or a Bass Pro Shop parking lot and you wanna take a shower, that's how you get the water. Now when you're at your campsite and you're using city water is what it's called when you're hooked up to the campsite water, you don't have to use the water pump. It's gonna automatically pressurize for you and it's gonna pull straight from the city water versus the water that's on the camper, well, inside the camper. If you ever wanna see how much water you have, you click levels test. Black water, you always want black water to be on one third. You always wanna have a baseline of water in your septic system before you start using the, the pooper. Gray water, remember gray water is your sink and your shower water. Fresh water, shows me I'm empty. You measure by empty, one thirds, two thirds full, empty. LP gas, liquid propane gas, you can read there. When it comes back, it has to be on full. Not two thirds, but full. Battery charge, that is for the RV side of the house. That's your battery flow there. It has four solar panels on top. You shouldn't have to worry about battery being an issue. Okay, so back to the hot water here, 110 volt. That's when you're at a campsite, use that one. It turns red. It's gonna use electricity to heat up your six gallon water tank. When you're sleeping in a Walmart parking lot and boondocking, dry camping, whatever, between point A and point B, hotter, hot water heater, that's your propane. It's gonna light up outside. If there's an issue with it, it's gonna say pilot out, which means your pilot light is not working. Here, you have your AC and your heater control. Remember, in order for, you click this button, off. When I put it on cool high, We'll see if it turns on. It's winter here in Colorado, so it's a little cold. See if I can get it to trigger. Okay, so that's gonna signal um, the roof AC to work. Now you can see it's blowing out. Well, you can't see it's blowing out because it's a video, but you can hear that it's coming out of the AC system now. Remember, you have to have campsite power, which is 30 amp, or you have to have the generator to work that AC unit. 
Now, the heater runs off of battery. You don't have to have um, campsite power or generators to run the heater. It runs off battery and propane, that's it. Okay, like I said earlier, this is your um, inverter. To turn it on, you hit that green button, turn it off, you hit that button. This right here is your light switch for inside. Down below there on the ground, that's where your heater blows out. Make sure it's not blocked. There's also ducking throughout the RV. Make sure those aren't covered as well. We're gonna transfer over to the microwave. You see the microwave is on. Now watch what happens when I turn the generator off. Before I turn that generator off, of course I'm going to turn off the AC. Turned off the AC. Now if I look right here, I say generator start, stop. There's a meter if you ever wanna track how much hours we're using to get the generator to stop. I'm gonna hit stop, but as soon as I hit stop, that microwave's gonna turn off. Because once again, you have to have 30 amp or generator power for the microwave to work. Okay, stove top. To get the stove top to work, I'm gonna turn this over to light. And then here, I'm going to turn that, and there it goes. Now it's lighting. Just like that. Okay, to turn it off, you just put it over to off. Key safety thing, always verify it's on off. There is a carbon dioxide detector inside the camper. It's gonna let you know if there's propane leak. When you're cooking with the stove top, always open up the, the roof vent and suck the air out of the camper. Okay, you do have an oven. The oven, you're gonna have to use a long lighter to light it. Just put it over to pilot push. It's gonna pump the propane into it, long lighter, and you light right where the pilot is at. Really easy to locate. Your refrigerator, your refrigerator runs 